Let's talk about exponents. Exponents sh show us repeated multiplication. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 2 is 4 times another 2 is 8. Times another 2 would be 16. Times another 2 would be 32. There's another way to write this, though. We can write this 2 to the second power. This little number is called an exponent. 2 to the third power. 2 to the fourth power and 2 to the 5th power. The exponent, the small number, tells you how many times to write the base and multiply it times itself. This is called exponential form, the one with the exponent. Expanded form would be writing it out. You can remember that because it looks stretched. And then standard form would be how you learn to count when you were little. So the, it's really just the answer. 7 to the second power would be 7 times 7. So however many times the exponent is, that's how many times you write the base and multiply it. 7 times 7, of course, is 49. 5 to the third power, so we're going to write 5 three times, and we're going to multiply them. 5 times 5 is 25, times another 5 is 125. Go out to the side and work it out if you need to. The big number is called the base. The little number is called the exponent. The exponent tells you how many times to write the base. So 5 to the 4th power tells us to write it 4 times. It's always repeated multiplication, so we're always multiplying. 5 times 5 is 25. If, you'll have a long, if you have a long problem like this, if you'll bring it down a little at a time and work it, it'll be a little easier for you. 25 times 5 is 125. One more would be 625. Let's try it. Now, with these kind of questions, you make sure you read the directions carefully. Write each expression in exponential form. So they're not asking you to work it. They're just asking you what the exponential form would look like. So we know we're right, the base is 3, and there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3 to the 5th power is how you would say it. So it would be 2 to the 4th power, 6 to the 3rd power, 9 to the 2nd power. It, name the base and the exponent. So again, they're not asking you to work it. They're just making sure you know your vocabulary. The big one is your base. The little one is your exponent. Write each expression as repeated multiplication. That's another way to say expanded form. And find the value. That's another word for standard form. So 4 squared would be 4 times 4, and it did ask you to find the value, so you do need to work it out, is 16. So this would be repeated multiplication or expanded form. This would be finding the value or the standard form. A number with an exponent of 2, of two is called a square. So it's perfectly fine to say 4 to the second power, but lots of people will say 4 squared. A number with an exponent of 3 is called a cube. So you can read this 4 to the third power, or you can say 4 cubed. Now this is interesting. Anything to the first power equals itself. So 4 to the first power would be 1. 8 to the first power would be 8. 10 to the first power would be 10. Anything with an exponent of 0 equals 1. So 4 to the 0 power is 1. 8 to the 0 power would be 1. 10 to the 0 power would be 1. One more fun thing I'd like to show you is 10 squared would be 10 times 10 or 100. 10 cubed would be 10 times 10 times 10 or 1,000. 10 to the 4th power is 10,000. 10 to the 5th power is 100,000. Can you see that when you're multiplying by 10s, if you have to the 2nd power, you'll have 2 zeros. To the 3rd power would be 3 zeros. To the 4th power, 4 zeros, and so on. So 10 to the 8th power, you'd put a 1, and then you'd just write in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 zeros. Count from the back and put in your commas, 100 million.